previously on the Brisket and Main podcast. Damn, tight, you look you bro. look good, dog. You the best looking motherfucker in the world. When is miles an hour? Like I hate that excuse more. And you're not the only one that uses no, it. No, I, hate no, no, that, no. I hate that excuse more. No, no, no. Use that. no, no. I'm gonna tell you the truth. You no, can so, make you can let no, life happen. However, bullshit, bull fucking bullshit. Shit. I, bullshit. I, I do. No, no, I do. You're so full of shit. I, I do. No, fuck you. You're so full of shit because motherfucker. So I've been men. All right, let's go, dog. But you know, it's not. In downtown Grand Prairie. You know, one of the topics on our whiteboard up here. Actually, can you say whiteboard, Cole? Does that, does that offend you? Let's call it board. Okay. I know. It's spicy. Spicy. This is what we're calling it. Spicy. Spicy. Let's go. Spicy. What's going on, y'all? This is CJ. This is Spicy Joe. And uh, special guest Joe, also known as the background for SpongeBob SquarePants. Um, I like this shirt, bro. <laughs> you get louder and louder every fucking week. And I love it. Oh, man. I try. So when are you flying out to Hawaii? How does that work? I can't afford it. You can't. You uh, look like you. You look like a But tourist. I am taking Jose to uh, Paris in Texas? May. No, no, no. He wants to see the Eiffel Tower. Oh. I'm excited. Hey, I haven't. So shout out to anybody that's been to Paris, France. I don't know where. We haven't booked our hotel yet. Uh, I don't even know what the hell to do. Um, and we have our flights. Is so. there a La Quinta out there? Because I got points. Bro, I would take any points I can get right now. Okay. Flights were How long spicy. How long for? So we're going to leave on a Friday, direct flight, and we'll be back the following Saturday, direct yeah, flight. Yeah, that's not a two-day two day tour. No, no, no. We're just going because Jose wants to see the Eiffel Tower. Um, so You know the best part of all this? What's that? Um, he's not going to remember? No, not a fucking thing. So you're about to spend 10 grand, and he's not going to remember here in like 20 years. <laughs> that's all right, though. But you got pictures, so that's cool. Yeah. So. Memories. 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 Um, hopefully, like, he'll shit, him pants ways. he'll shit his pants ways out there, something like that. So. Eating too much butter or drinking too much wine? Snails? Snails. Is there a drinking age over there? I don't think so. I think you drink whenever. Um, they don't give a fuck, right? As long as you reach the bar, you're good to go. Yellow. Um, Speaking about drinking, like, I love Lone Star. But if Yingling wants to offer us something, do we take it? These are the same people that are trying to yes. talk no, no, you down. No, 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 no. They didn't. We, they, they paid. Did they? Yeah, but the only issue is it's supposed to rain, so they're probably going to cancel. So they called me and said, hey. Can we get our money back? Wow. I said, well, you can pay the fees for the credit card, or or they're like, well, well can we just hold it for the next go around? It's like, yeah. Hold Ari the fees buy- or hold the f- hold the, the food? Uh, I don't know how that works. I was like, um, I already paid for it, but we'll figure it out. Because I want to parlay just in case if we get a deal with Yingling, right? Like Yingling, like they're looking for a pit master. My um, Yingling, my ying- I didn't know they were big in the barbecue game. They're not, but you know, this got into Texas, right, two years ago? Uh, I believe it was two years ago, and uh, they wanted a face of uh, a barbecue. I remember drinking it in uh, in New Orleans a couple years back, and I was Ooh. like, "Man, what is this?" Is it's everybody... good. Like it's not even like heavy, you know. Yingling light. Oh, we flight. flight flight. There's there's light. There's flight. Yeah, we got we got drunk on the flight, and it's all light. So, <laughs> um, it's okay. It's 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 like it's like when uh, what was that burger place came to Texas, In and Out, and like remember you hyped it up, and I was like thinking it was gonna be a fucking ribeye on a bun, and like we. Waiting in line for two hours in Frisco, me and Kathy and the kids. And well, I was, did wait in line for uh, it was a hamburger. That's all the fuck it was. Was a hamburger. What's the new Chicago place that just opened up? Chicago. Uh, you know how it sounds so Mexican? There was a Chicago, Chicago bro. Oh, my Chicago. God, Chicago. Um, uh, it's a little stash. It gives you the fucking accent. I try. But I'm trying to think. Uh, Portello's. Uh, we ate there. We waited it's an the hour. Mushroom, and a half. Right? No, not Port- <laughs> That's Portobello's. Portobello's. Samsonite whale. <laughs> oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the hot dog was good. Oh, that was just a hot dog place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Craig from Fox Bros because he posted a picture like, you got to be fucked up if you're waiting in line for a hot dog. And I texted him. I said, like, I did. He's an LOL. <laughs> I don't know if that was an LOL of disappointment or LOL. Of course you would. Yeah, that's... Uh... It was worth it, bro. Italian beef, like, it was all good. Yeah. Um, I got to try it now. You know they say for every hot dog you eat, it takes like five minutes off your life. Bro, I, I love the dogs, bro. All up in my mouth. So like that Nathan's dude, like he's got to be like negative like thirty by this point, dude. How about, dude. The, how about the how about the Asian dude? Uh, Tom, God, what's his name? Tomokasu. <laughs> That's a <laughs> fucking sub, dude. Bro, oh my god, my son is addicted to um this egg that's in Japanese egg roll. <laughs> We're gonna have this going the whole time, right? <laughs> so egg roll is the thing that goes omagachi. Oh it's like this egg that's like sad all the time, and we bought him this thing on. Uh, it's a Amazon. sad egg. Sad egg that's a yolk with egg whites, or with the what the fuck's outside the egg yolk, the, the clear shell? stuff, the clear stuff. 
Egg whites. Egg whites. Egg whites, egg yolk. God, you're, not, you're, not, you're not supposed to eat the yolk. Oh, I, whatever. I forgot what the fuck uh, the, the thing name is, but it's on Netflix and also YouTube. So we bought it on Amazon, this thing. You slap it on the buzz. I'm so tired. I'm like, I cannot believe my son slapping this thing in the ass. Well, how old is this toy? <laughs> yeah. And then... Uh, and then we bought him a shirt. My, well, Kristen bought him a shirt, and he was so proud to wear it this morning. He's like, I got to put a raincoat on because I can't get it wet. <laughs> the drip. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. But it's cool to see, like, do, does, does, does your kids still get excited for stuff like that? Like, do they get, like, where they almost, like, like fuck, they're kids still. Like, they no, get, not a fucking chance. Nothing. There's nothing that gets them excited. Man, my kids are kind of, they're like me, so they try to like not show show face, not show, Ryan doesn't. Ryan Talk about bro, excited. like, bro, you're a lot more emotional than you give yourself credit for. Like, I would say that our family did a terrible job. At raising us? 100%. Like, they wanted us not to show emotion. Like, yeah. I, and I, I, it's weak to show emotion. Yes, for me, I show it all, and you do too, so I don't give a fuck what you say, because everybody calls us the biggest bitches in the world, because we are. But, bro, I know this, because I've seen you, you tell your kids you love them like 50 Every times day. a day. Yeah, every every day, Bro, every day. Like I wake up Jose to kisses and say, "I love you. How was your night? Did yeah. you sleep good?" So I get it, bro. Like, so don't try to act like. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think there's nothing they really get excited about. Like Christmas, nothing. Nothing. Haley, not really. It, it's like a sideways ass smile. Ryan, Ryan still got some innocence in him, so he kind of does. Yeah, but I remember when Haley like gave you like a fifty page list of what she wanted for Christmas. Yeah, she was trying to juice me down though. So. But she was excited to give you that list. She was excited to get the shit off the list. I don't know if she, she was excited to give me the list, but <laughs> that was cool. Uh, um, you know. Still got some APR I'm paying for for those Christmas gifts. Are you um, playing, bro? APR kicking all our ass right now. Now that we ran for 10 minutes, man, what did you do this weekend? You had a badass festival you went to, right? How'd that go? Oh, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Shout out to uh, the ticket. Um, they had us out um, to do a barbecue um, class. So, you know, well, we roll up in the Rivian, you know, and uh, we went from 300 miles, three, 330 miles down to about 280 when we got there, so, or about 250, so it dropped about. So, eh, sucked up some juice? It sucked up a little bit of juice. Not, not too much juice, but it did. It sucked up some juice. And, um, and you know, shit, you know how we learned a long time ago, I think the first festival we went to, we didn't bring beer because, like, we didn't want to get in trouble. Then after that, like, we literally have a 250 or two 250s full of Lone Star. And then we become the party scene, right? Like everybody comes party with us because they know we're getting fucked up and they're getting well. It's free beer. It's free beer. Um, that's, that's how you make friends. Have free beer, alcohol. Um, and uh, so you know we do our do our do our thing. And uh, so we did the first class. It was good. You know, I was feeling loose, talking shit to the cops. We were having good banter, and they're awesome. Like uh, it was, they were the coolest cops. And uh, I'm like, I promise you we're not driving. And they're like, the car's driving. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, there's like three hours of kill. So we're just killing beers. And then uh, we go to the back because, you know, they had to put me on stage. And you know me. I love attention. So I'm talking. Then we get down. And this lady starts running towards Mr. Zavala. I'm like, yeah. Uh, I need to see you. I'm like, all right. She's like, remind you, we have 30 minutes before our last session. I'm like, what up? She's like, is that your cooler full of beer? I'm like, say yeah, bitch, my name's on it. <sighs> yeah. Well, that cannot be here. And granted, I know it can't be there. Like, yeah, I, that's I supposed to speed either. I, fucking, I, I, you're not supposed I, to drink and drive uh, either. But look, these are just minor things that like, happen. I get it. You know, maybe that we're just full here in Grand Prairie and they treat us respectfully. Um, we do everything in law abiding. But, you know, sometimes we, you know, we, we like I have a little bit cold beer somewhere, right? Yeah. And uh, so she wasn't having it. And she said, I need you to put that in your vehicle or take it to the parking lot. <laughs> I said, so you want me to put this inside, not, not, in, the, not in the tailgate but bed, but in my vehicle? She's like, yes. Or, or to take it out to the parking lot that's 100 feet away? Yes. I said, all right, fuck it. So me and Drew just put it in my fucking truck. And... Um, then I smart ass walk up front and then I get um, some beers and I'm like, I'll take four beers and they're like, whoa, 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 we can't save four beers. And I pointed at that person, some random person. I said, hey, uh, I'm getting them mid tier. Oh, you are? Okay. So here, and then I run up to them. He's like, you got to get the beers. I'm like, all right. It happens to be Michelle Rodriguez. And I'm like, give it to her. She's like, I'm not drinking. I said, I, I know you're not drinking, but just hold it. Just smile. She's like, okay. And uh, the, the guy like looks at me, he's like, oh, yeah, I got it. And I grab the beers, and then, you know, I walk outside. And then I owe Michelle a new beer because they did end up drinking, but 
there, there were beers for outside. Yeah. I was being selfish. So uh, I just boiled down to money at that point. And so then uh, we go outside and we're drinking beers. And the next thing I know, somebody, uh, Vic from Nomad, it's like, hey, bro, uh, I think uh, there's a cop staring at us. I'm like, fuck, is he waiting for us to leave? So I look and I look close. It says security. Oh, I said, it's a baby back bullshit. So I started drinking right in front of him. Like, Dude, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And look, he was doing his job. Yeah. Like, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not being disrespectful for him. He was doing his job. He's being very disrespectful, but it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, point, yeah. So. Uh, and so we finished the class and we have a good time. And, you know, people were bringing us beers and we're drinking them that people paid for. <sighs> and then the funniest thing ever is we literally pull out the uh, ice chest because we're loading the vehicle up and he's just staring at us and we just like literally put it back on the El Cucaracha and we roll out. So that was our weekend. Just waiting for you to fucking... Yeah, it was kind of a... You know, shit happens. It is what it is. So to reiterate, um, it was a good good event. Yeah, you know, I, I the people were genuinely into it, and I felt like they truly cared. Like, what what was the point of the? Was it like barbecue no, it, based? No, 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 no. It's like it's uh, the ticket fans. Like, ticket has a big ticket. I, I listen to the fan, bro. I'm sorry. I don't listen to any of it, but you know, the ticket has a huge following. No, yeah, no, hundred percent. And yeah. uh, and you know, it's just hardcore hardcore sports people. Yeah. Like Drew, okay. and Cameron. Yeah, because I mean that was the main reason you did it was because of them, right? Oh yeah, because I, you know, I love my friends. Yeah. So sometimes I say yes to things that I shouldn't have. So if the fan says one, you're gonna do it because of me? I would. Okay. I would. I would. I just gotta show up this time. Yeah. Yeah, my bad, dude. That's okay, bro. You you would have. You're more saltier than I am, so it's probably a good thing you weren't there. Oh, why was I? Why am I salty? Is that the right word? Well, why am I? Or well, petty? Oh, petty. Is petty better? Oh no, I'm Tom Petty Petty. That's bro. what I'm saying. Like, yeah. you're more petty yeah. than I am. Yeah. Um, like, where's the petty motherfuckers? Yeah, and that's that's so. Just, well, especially since it's just boiled down to money. They didn't give a fuck that you were drinking. There. They didn't give a fuck less if you drove off there and drove drove the trailer off a cliff. But it was because you didn't spend ninety dollars on fucking two beers. I didn't even look at my tab, but you're probably yeah, right. But we did eat hot dogs. But I did spend money there. We ate hot dogs and uh, so I guess they call Frito pies like taco walking tacos. Did you know that? Uh, is that being PC? I, fuck, I don't know. I'm going to start uh, calling you a Frito Pie then. <laughs> <laughs> like a little Frito Pie over here. <laughs> a little, uh, little concha. <laughs> uh, they, they literally call it a walking taco. That's a Frito uh, Pie. That's, yeah. what, 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 what city were you in? Plano. Nah, I don't think you can say it in Plano, bro. You can get away with that shit in like South Dallas, but I don't think you can say it in Plano. Like, yeah, you're probably right. Shout out to Alex, bro. Alex a G, dog. You see those pictures he sent us? Yes, yes. Um, so he's building out your... Uh, your your what the fuck is it called? Your shrine of fucking spices back here, bro. Give it respect. Zavala's barbecue distribution. Yes, them. Yeah. So he's building it out. Yeah, bro. That's some good looking wood back there, bro. Bro, he's like, bro. He, they is that pine? I, I don't know. Maybe. It looks good. They, they they went all out. Are you going to? Uh, you're gonna. Uh, I was about to say season it. You're gonna fucking <laughs> burn it. No, what are you gonna do to it? You're not gonna leave it like you're just gonna fucking just full on splinter mode. I, I don't got no money, dog. You're not going to stain it? Does anybody got money? You're I don't got gonna, money. I don't got money. Bro, stain is like fucking, you stain the whole thing for 200 bucks. But I'm not going to stain it. Are you going to stain it? I'm not going to stain shit. I'll there stain my go. underwear if, I can, if I don't, we don't finish this up soon, there but that's about go. it. There you go. I don't got money. If somebody wants to come stain it, they come stain it. So you're going to literally let somebody get a, you're, some kid's going to fucking get a splinter on there. That's fine. And that's it. I'm already, I'm already screwed up. Like, I'm sending Ryan here to fucking. You would. With some saw, he's got soft ass hands, dude, so he'll fucking. Probably so. It's like a magnet. Fucking, he's got those video game hands. I know, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, we, we our goals are open by um, April 1st, because April 1st, we just dropped our uh, class. Um, we are doing... Is that like April Fool's Day, Joe? No, no, we're actually doing 44 Farms Brisket and the Beef Cheek. Um, get some tacos, get some seasonings, um, and then get 10% off barbecue and come to Zavala's Barbecue Distribution where you can get all... Of the available rubs, actually, I'm just lying to you. They're not like not all of them said that I could, but all the ones that said I could, you get the rubs and barbecue sauce for ten percent off. Because oh, some people said you couldn't give them ten percent off. No, 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 no. Some people said I, I, I haven't responded for me to get their rubs to sell. Oh, I think you said you had nineteen of. 15. No, no. So, so there's twenty of the top fifty that have rubs, including yeah. ourselves. Yeah, three of them haven't got back yet. I thought you said you had 19 last time. Cole, fact check that from the first no, no, episode. No, no, you're right. I just said 19. Wow. And I'm, 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 I'm backtracking because my calculations no, you're, were, you're were lying, wrong. but whatever. Don't do things just for clout. 
No, I, I, I'm telling the truth. Well, now you are because you got called out on it. So when who, you, who called me out? I I'm calling myself did. out. Well, yeah, because you said 19 the first time. No, because you're, you're right. But if there's other ones that I did not see on your website that you have seasonings, reach out to me. I would love to have your, your rubs. You know, I got my own rubs, right? <laughs> I'm scared where this is going to go. It's not going to go nowhere. So uh, you said you're going to Houston and to uh, where else to pick up some more? Yeah, so we're going to head to Houston this weekend. Cool invite. Uh, my bad. Uh, and we're going to have some uh, dinner uh, with a uh, shout-out to Andrew from uh, Tales from the Pit. Uh, and then we are going to – beforehand, we're going to go to Snow's, pick up the rubs there. Then we got to go to Pinkerton's, got to go to Truth, got to go to Fiji's, got to go to um, – Blood Bros, got to go to uh, Corkscrew, and I think that's it. So you're just doing this just for the sake of traveling? No, I'm doing this for the people of DFW, for them to be able to get their hands on barbecue rubs. Oh, yeah, because that's what it's all about. It is. It's, it's my, be burping? Yeah, it's my way to be able to get back to the barbecue community. Let me ask you a question. Uh, so you're going to Houston. Yeah. And you're about to pick all this shit up. Yeah. And you're going to leave it in the bed of your truck at each place in Houston. No, no, no. We like, I have a Rivian, so yeah, the, which is the size of my fucking back pocket on the bed of the truck. So that, that's fine. But uh, there's a uh, uh, at the front where you usually your motor is. There's a lot of space in there. Oh, you think you fit everything in there? Oh yeah, and then there's also room underneath, and then also there's an ice chest if you lift up where the spare tire goes if you want one, and there's room there too. So you think you can fit everything in there? Yeah, everything. Yeah. So you're just getting like seven but, bites but, from each one. But, but you have to understand, uh, twelve pack of each season. Oh, that's well, yeah. Then you're fine. I thought you were picking up like mass amounts. Then. Well, hopefully one day I'm gonna be picking up mass yeah, amounts. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. You set the bar now, low for yourself, so that's bro. Fine. I have a low self esteem, so Not low it's self esteem. Like, it's just fucking like you know, shot. You yeah, you're right. It's all my esteem. <laughs> it's all my esteem. It's full of steam. Right? It's full of steam. Full, 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 steam, ahead, right? <laughs> full steam. You got my ass there. I, I I got nothing, dog. I got nothing. Um, well, that's cool though. So y'all gonna stay the night, obviously. So we're staying night Friday night, and but we're coming back on Saturday because shout out to Linda. She just turned 42, 43, uh, 45. 39, 38, 39. Um, no, I'm just playing. I think she turned like 38. No, because no, Chris is turning 37. 30. I'm 30, turning 37. She's Chris is turning 39. 38. 38. Catherine's 38. So yeah, so she's something. 39. Hopefully she's, something. she's not 40. She's not 40. She looked good though. Lance? Um, what, what he was telling her happy birthday this morning. I'm glad somebody texted. So he reminded him. He was reminded of it. But, um, so that's cool, man. So, but that's not till Sunday. I thought we were going to brunch. Yeah, yeah. So that's where we're coming back on Sunday to make sure that we wake up for. Well, you uh, just said Saturday, so you lied again. No, 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 we're coming back Saturday so we can make it for Sunday. Oh. So we're leaving Friday. It doesn't matter, honestly. I, I can give two shits less. We're just trying to buy time here. But that's cool though. Why do you gotta be so mean, I'm not, dude? I'm fucking, bro. I'm very spicy. Triggered. I'm very bro. triggered today, bro. Like, spicy. Very, very triggered today. But I like it, bro. I like when you're spicy sometimes. I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Yeah. I've got more text messages. It's like, I'm, I'm glad you are back. And, you know, I want everybody to know the sacrifice that we made today because we're going to be gone this weekend that we're here doing this. And we didn't want to. Like, I was so close saying, fuck it. But I know if we don't do it, we quit. And the we second you it. stop, I stop. I know. 100%. I know. I'm not going to. I refuse to give more effort than you will. I know because I always get more effort. I totally get it. Well, and, uh, I mean, and like, no, no, I get it. And like, I'm gonna make sure that we keep going. Yeah. Because you know what? I love seeing your face. That's fine. I'm, I do this because you're my best friend. But it, this doesn't benefit me. 100. percent I'm doing this for you. But what happens when we're like making million dollars of uh, royalties? If we ever get to that point, then fucking yeah, it'll benefit me. Then we won't be friends anymore after that. We're just business partners, then, right? Probably. <laughs> well, but I, I don't think it'll get to millions. Why? Uh I think at that point, fucking. It'll, you can't mix money with friends, man. Bro, I don't give a fuck. You know how much fucking drugs and alcohol we could do? I don't know if you can do alcohol. I think you drink alcohol, but I don't know if you do drugs. Whatever, dude. What uh, what was this free shit you said 44 Farms gave you the other day? Just a middle scale yakitori. What is that? It's, it's this badass fucking... Uh, that's, a, that's a Chinese food place? <laughs> no. Uh, it's like a it's a Japanese grill, bro. Like I just made the most amazing Italian steak you with herbs of France. Italian steak? What is that? Just we use Italian seasonings. I wanted something different. We made some pasta with it. No, we made a. So it's pasta. a steak. We just got Italian seasoning. Yeah, herbs of Provence. Okay. What? I, I, 
Why are you yelling? I'm just asking. I jump my mask and like what makes it Italian? It's just the seasoning. Yeah. So if you would have put taco seasoning, it'd be a Mexican steak. So I was talking to Jose for Forty Four Farms, and funny you say that because he was like, "Because I said Jose." It's fucking no, racist. no, even better. He was like, "You know what makes Mexican food?" I was like, "What?" He said, "Pico de gallo, sour cream, and our grandmothers, <laughs> and jalapeno on top." I was like, "Man, you're right, bro. You throw it on chicken. You got a Monterey chicken. Throw it on uh, steak. You got carne asada. Throw it on enchiladas. You got enchiladas. You throw it on some chips and salsa. You got some nachos." Throw it on a sloppy wine, you got a taco. Yeah, food's fucking racist if you really think about it. <laughs> 100%. Oh, my God. 100%. It is. 100%. Um, so they actually gave it to you? Uh, they said I can borrow it, so I don't know if they're... Are you just not going to get that shit back? Yeah. They got to pick it up at that point. Yeah. Did you they, pick it up? Or? It's heavy as hell, bro. You know, so, Riley, so. Riley drove it up here. They came and ate lunch on Friday. and uh, I don't know who people are, but... Yeah, you do. If you saw him, you know exactly who Riley is. You know the 44 family. They're small. There's like 12 of them. Is that the guy that came with his wife and in-laws that one time? Yes. Okay. Then oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly who I've it was. I've only met like two or three of them. So. Yeah. No, no. That, that's exactly who it is. Yeah. Wow. That's that's impressive. Yeah. I know Jose because he's a token. And then I, I, obviously the Riley guy is the other one. So. Yeah. You know, you know. You know the, the first time I met Jose, I cussed him out because I thought you called a Mexican to say that. Uh, there were 44 to fuck with me, but he was actually working for 44 Farms. It is funny looking back at that story. So I literally cussed out the my 44 rep the first time I ever met him. What? Uh, I said, fucking CJ told you to call. Back back to the class, do you figure out what you're going to do, what you're going to charge, what you're going to give? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to do uh, 189, uh, and you're going to get one taco of brisket, one taco of beef cheek. You're going to get... Zavala's barbecue beef rub, bird rub, fajita rub, pork rub, and sloppy wine sauce. In the new plastic bottle? I don't know. We'll see what Mason brings, plastic or uh, glass. The glass guys go to Central Market and Walmart because they that's where they're they selling. They don't want plastic. No, because we can't switch it like in the middle of like the contract. So, But, you know, maybe they'll... It's the same ounces, isn't it? No, no. It's all the same stuff. It's just, you know, what, like, they literally have to have the exact specs. Oh. It's like aesthetics. 100%. Um, but yeah, so we'll, we'll kind of go from there. Um, and then, uh, CJ will be there, uh, making people chug beers. So excited about that. Like, let me, let me ask you, let me put you on the spot for a second. What separates your classes from every other person doing a class? Damn, bro. That, you know what? I, bro, that's a fire right there. Number one is because I tell you the truth of it doesn't really fucking matter. Okay. Like, um, I may give you the fundamentals, but ultimately like it is up to you to want to do it. Um, and also you have exclusive, you have my, you have my email address. So if you want to ask a question, hit me up and people do it all the time for the rest of my life. Uh, and also like we give rubs, uh, you know, like we give all of our rubs and we make sure they get, you know, every single rub that we have, we have five rubs and we want you to have be rubbed out. Like that's the biggest thing about it. And then if you want to get saucy, we got the sauce, we got the sloppy sauce. So we just try to get rubby and sl- sloppy, you know, uh, rubbed out till you get the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, we want to make sure that you just enjoy your taco. Like, We're never gonna grow up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we really like people chugging beers um, for our giveaways. Um, and then also we give you one of our uh, Zavala's Barbecue notebook, um, so you can take your own notes. Because you remember back in the day, I had a shit ton of notes that you used to make fun of me. No, that was that was the only reason why. But um, but you know. Let's just be honest. Like the reason people come, they want to hear your humor, bro. Like you bring you bring that fire. Like they don't want to hear me. No, hundred percent, hundred percent. And it's funny you're doing the class on the first, so I actually have a comedy show on the thirty first. Um, oh, so it works out well. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and I expect you to be there. So. Probably not. Well, I went to last one. Oh, probably not. Okay. I said I went to. I went you just to, said I, probably not. I went to the last one. Bitch, did, I heard you. I have fucking did, headphones did, on. Did I say that out loud? Yeah. Oh, well, I can hear you burp. I can hear you say probably not. So that's I, fine. I it's gonna be fucking a give or take thing. So you don't show up, I don't show up. So. All right, I'll be there. Okay. That's all I asked for. I just want you to hang out with me. Like, I don't ask for a lot. Like, well, you're, like, in the zone during them. Like, you don't even want – you don't talk to nobody. You're just I like, can't, bro. Why, what do you mean you can't? Bro, I got a host, bro. It doesn't matter. I still need some – I need some CJ time. I, I fucking walk around and mingle, bro. Barely. I'm going to put a camera on you so you can see yourself. Like a GoPro? Yes. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, that's that's cool. That'll work, man. Hey, man, I'm looking at our notes, and I'm kind of curious. You didn't tell me this. 
Um, not to get somber and sad, but I see two things here. It says, uh, I forgot you had cancer. Um, and then God works in mysterious ways, although you wrote good works in mysterious ways. <laughs> but knowing you for 20 years, I know what the fuck you were trying to say. So, Yeah, man, I woke up yesterday like real sad and uh, because, you know, you just get triggered and you see stuff yeah. going on. And I was like, fuck, I have cancer. Like, I literally forget I have cancer all the time. I think that's a good thing, though. Yeah. Because yeah. You're li- it shows you're living your life. Wow, you're right. I um, never thought about it that way. Um, but I, yesterday, I remember I had cancer. And I was like, we thou. And I told Kristen, I said, I'm sad right now. I got to say, I got to like, get out of it. So I, I kept on trying to tell like positive things, right? And then one of, uh, one of our regulars, uh, she has cancer. And, uh, you know, I've like been talking to her from her whole journey. It's been about a year and a half. I remember like the, you know, the week that she found out. And, uh, and the cool thing was, uh, you know, she was so happy to tell me that she, her results. And she's like, Joe. Guess what? I said, what? Nothing's changed. In the cancer world, that's like the most amazing thing that you can hear is yeah. nothing's changed. Yeah. You're like, yes. Yeah. And uh, and I told her, I was like, you know, I get upset. And I don't tell people this, but I get upset when they're like, man, you look good. I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to look like? Yeah. You know? And uh, I looked at her and I told her that. I said, look, I'm going to tell you something. I get so upset when people tell me that. But I'm going to like you look good. She's like, thank you. Like, thank you. And, uh, it just, you know, she was so happy to tell me that her numbers are good. There's no change. And I was like, wow, like I needed that because she's going through the same thing I'm going through. And, you know, Yesterday, I remember I had cancer. And, uh, you know, I go to get my immunotherapy on Monday. And, uh, and I think that's another thing. Like, it's always like when I get close, to, when I get close to have to go do my blood work, it's like, did my blood work change, right? Yeah. And, you know, like, a lot of people, like, you know, they could do it quarterly. Like, I do it. I was doing it every week, every every two weeks. And now it's, like, monthly. And it's just like that. Try you to stay li- out of it. Yeah, you live, like, 30 days. I don't have cancer. Then you're like, fuck, what's my numbers, right? What's my numbers? What's my numbers? Actually, let me phrase this. My cancer, my cancer's good. Um, it's not getting worse, right? It's not getting worse. Um, but, yeah, but, it, you know, it's just like that. And then, weirdly, I had people that I haven't talked to in a while reach out to me. And they were talking about how I told them something, and it helped them through a situation. And they were calling me to say thank you. And I was like, fuck. I was like. I guess people actually do listen to me, so I got to kind of be comfortable, or I have to be, I have to be more, actually, fuck that, I don't have to be more whatever. I like. It's cool that people take what I say to heart and use it, and for positive, right? Um, and it's, you know, it's just weird that I was sad, and then these individuals touch my heart to make me happy again, um, and remind me that, you know, everything's going to be okay no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 that's a good uh, that's a good tool to live by. Is no matter what happens, it's going to be okay. Um, that, like you said, I mean, it's it's no matter what happens, it's going to be okay. And yeah, that, that's that's a hard pill to to so, swallow, and it's a hard pill to to think about. But you know, the, the day that we leave this earth, like it's like man, it's it's going to be okay. You know. Yeah, and you know, and it's not it's not us. Like oh my god, like no, it is what it is. Like. Um, I'm fortunate that I have amazing wife. My son is, I showed you a picture, swagged out dog. He's just too cool to be in school. Um, and, you know, like it's cool. Like uh, I, like even like Linda reaching out to us saying, it's my birthday. Are coming to brunch? Yeah, we're, we're coming. Like we got to make those memories because, you know, like I know she's going through all her stuff with her mom too. Like she needs us. And we got to make sure we're here. Yeah, no, hundred percent, man. Like I said, um, that that does, like you said, you saying that you forgot that. That's that's kind of the silver lining in everything, it's because yeah. you, you, it shows that you're living your life, you know. Um, and it's, I mean, it's hard for everybody. That I mean, it, it it affects everybody. I mean, when you're when it's that close, like I mean, I always tell you, fucking, you, you know, you, you go down these fucking dark holes. I'm like, shut the fuck up. I say that because. I mean, I'll be very honest with you, dude. Fucking, I mean, it, it it affects me and my family. I mean, like I said, we're brothers, you know. So I I 
I try not to fucking think about it, dude. I, I yeah, my my parents still don't say I have cancer. Yeah, so I, I totally get it. And uh, like the day that my son figures it out, like that's gonna suck. Yeah, because right now, like my son just like you know, there's a you know when when all the you know shout out to uh, you know everybody in North Texas like in the barbecue world like when I had my cancer and COVID's going on, they did you know y'all put together on um, those videos and did the uh, parade. And people created signs, and uh, you know, a couple months ago, my son like he loves rainbows, and he looks at rainbows like, what is that? I said, well, Dad's sick, and people were like really nice, and they came and they gave me this stuff, and my son looked at me, and was like, Dad, I'm here for you. You're good. I'm like, fuck, what are you like? Yeah. You son of a bitch. Yeah. And uh, you tried to cry in front of him. Oh, I did, bro. And I hugged him and kissed him. I said, I know, son. Yeah, I, I know. Um, but it's like. That was powerful, you know what I mean? No, yeah, 100%. Um, so it's like one of those things. Like, uh, it's a, you know, it's a growing thing, um, but, you know, it's good to know that we do have a, I, I, I told Kristen, like, we, you know, this is the whole Zavala Family Foundation. Like, you know, actually, you know, this is a good segue. Like, um, you know, Vic, you know, like, they have the Camp Nomad, and, like, we did the stuff last year, and people don't know this, um, but at Camp Nomad, I didn't have my vision. I lost my vision for my immunotherapy. therapy. I could not see, but I had to show up and y'all helped me. Like I could not see. Um, I just thought about that. Uh, and so they're going to, they want to do something for a charity. So I was like, well, do it for the Zola family foundation. And they're like, fuck, I forgot about that. And I need to do a better job of talk about the foundation because it's literally for people in the restaurant industry that don't have like actually anybody in the restaurant industry, because most of us don't have insurance in the restaurant industry. It's like, how can we help out? And, you know, our first thing that we did for Zavala's Bash, we raised 18500 for the first time, and only half the people showed up because the storm came through. Yeah. So we could have raised almost $40,000 just because. So we're going to make it bigger. We want to do a public-facing one. And, you know, I know what we're going to talk about just saying no. I'm tired of saying yes to people. And I'm just saying yes to so we're raising money for the greater good. Like food and wine, raising money for greater good. Uh, you know, even like text monthly, the raising money for greater good. Um, because you know what, like, as long as it has a, I think as long as it has a cause behind it, um, I'll one hundred percent always help you in whatever way I can. Um, obviously, you have the festivals out there that are like real based on, hey, look, come out here, I'm gonna give you a five hundred dollar stipend, I'm gonna nut off fifty G's. Like those, there's plenty of those out there that fucking five years ago, fucking would be like, oh fuck you, let's do this, but. Yeah, but you know, you also got like Troubadour Fest, like where you know. That's different. I don't care. We get fucked up there. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, Chase, Chase is good people, man. Yeah. Like Chase, Chase, Chase. I literally, Chase, whenever I made that comment, that was I know, the one. That, that I know, I yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Chase, 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 Chase side, is so. first class, like first class. Yeah. Like I will say that a thousand times. Chase is first class, and uh, absolutely love him. He's treated all of us right. Yeah. Um, and always does. Um, but you know, there's like I, I get hit up. Like, bro, I got an email. I got literally 20 emails of people trying to throw festivals. Hey, do you want to do this? No. No, I don't want to. Yeah. I, I don't. I'm, I'm, I, I don't want to do it. Yeah. So, and I think that's why, like, at the beginning, like, we started doing those. Like, you'd see the people that were like, oh, why, why aren't these people here? Well, they figured it out. Yeah. That's why they don't go. 100%. It's like we're maturing. Everybody else is like new. It's like, you know, you don't know till you do, right? And we're doing and we're learning just – being a business and being like, like we are stewards to barbecue. Like our job is to make sure whoever comes after us has a good foundation to take it further, yeah, to I'm, be better I'm, than I'm, us. I'm sure like looking back, like, cause I mean, you, you sent me some videos already like the past like couple weeks of like, you know, quote unquote, these new people and the stuff they're doing and stuff like that. And I mean, look, let's be very transparent. Some of it's kind of fucking annoying, but you have to look at the same time. Six years ago, that was us. hundred percent. That was hundred percent us. You're right. Um, so much. And, you know, it's like you look back at it and you're like, man, like you just figure it out over time. Like everybody's just trying to find their like their own what they want to do and not be a carbon copy of somebody else. A thousand percent. But we always respected everybody in the barbecue world. Yeah. Because we know how hard it is. And people. But, you know, like we always joke about this. We were like the last of the Mohicans, you know, like it's one that slid in before the door shut. Yeah. Yeah. Like, people think that we're, like, not the pop-ups, but we started off as a pop-up. Yeah, 100%. Like, we were a pop-up, you know? And, uh, fuck, man. Like, barbecue's hard, man. 
and even more so than not, you know, it's sad. Brett's barbecue backyard shut down. Yeah, it's it's starting top to, fifty. It's start your look. I hate to say it, there'll be more. I mean, it's, it's just shit. You don't you don't want it to happen, but it's it's but, inevitable, uh, man. No, like, uh, no, I'll say it here. Like even like ourselves, like you're like, oh yeah, we're doing it. We're we're right break even like one percent higher than we did last year. Yeah. But guess what? All the expenses went up. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, it's hard. I mean, uh, Hurtado at Arlington, I mean, he had to shut down his, his Frisco location just open, man. It little sucks, on, man. Little. Little. On. Yeah. Um, that sucks, man. Like, you like, from the outside, it looks great. You don't know what that man's going through. You don't know why he had to shut that place down. Like, that's, yeah. It's, it's, you got to put your family, you got to put his family first, make that decision, I'm sure. So, yeah. Um, it sucks. Like, uh, I, like, how many times in the last three years, I'm like, we got to file bankruptcy? Yeah. Like, you say it like fucking one, you know, and I'm sure it's like, there's been some times where I'm like, I think this motherfucker's kind of being for real here. Um, it's hard, dude. Like I said, I mean, shout out to anybody who fucking literally is a, is a small business owner, man, because it takes a lot of fucking nuts. Yeah, not even barbecue, like everything. No, everything, everything. I can't tell you how many small business owners to talk to you like, man, I get it. I mean, my father-in-law was a small business owner. Your father-in-law was a small business yeah. owner, you know, and it's just like, it's, it's, I mean, I have dreams and aspirations of, you know, I've told you before what kind of what I want to do, or, you know, the next couple of years, stuff like that, and like, in the back of my mind, it's real fucking scary. I'm like, what if, you know, it, but at the end of the day, here's, here's, here's the, the way you kind of got to look at it. It either works or it doesn't. You either succeed or you fail. That is what it is. But you know what the beautiful thing about it is? Is um, fundamentally, it, it's like you tried because everything else is always going to be there. Yeah. Because I would say this. I would hire a small business owner if I was a big corporation any day. Because they ain't going to stress out. They're like, this is stress? Like, I can't tell you how many times I'm like, why are y'all stressing right now? Yeah. Like, not figuring out how you're going to pay your employees or, or pay rent or, you know, having to call your cousin up and say, hey, bro, um, do you have $30,000 I can borrow? And he's like, I'll figure it out. Like, do you have those conversations where you have to literally call somebody and say, I got 30, you got $30,000? No one knows. Yeah. Um, There's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that it's outside, like the smoke and mirrors thing. Oh, hands down. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and, you know, it's like, uh, you know, that's why we're always trying to hustle and figure out, like, what works, you know, like this this whole distribution thing. Like, I think, it's, I think it's easier to find out what doesn't work than what works. Oh, my God. That is so true. So. But people were scared. To figure out what doesn't work to get what works. Yeah, like nobody, nobody, and look, nobody ever fucking creates a game plan and like marks down nine failures before they get to fucking success. But bro, it's, it happens. I know, bro. Even like when we were looking to open up Zavala's Barbecue, you remember when we couldn't find a spot? We literally went to like what 30, 40 people. Can we open up? And they're like looked yeah. at us like we're crazy. Yeah. You remember when we fucking asked City of Grand Prairie at your house because it's commercial property? We want to put a trailer there, and they're like, no. They looked at us like we were crazy. We had literally like four directors there. Yeah. And two years later, we fucking buy a building. Like, they shut us down at the Brass Bean. That was like a 24 hours. 24 hours. We were living the high life. In 24 hours, they shut us down. Open back up in 24 hours. Thanks, Small Town Grand Prix. But, you know, it's, yes, it's, uh, it's so many failures that people, like, sometimes I have to forget. Just like I forgot about my cancer, I forget about our fucking failures. How much heartache like people are like blah blah bro it's been seven no three it's been eight no seven years that we're at and we're i and we're still at the beginning it's been a quick seven years actually shit your wife wanted to divorce you a couple of times that was before you even opened yes um no man it's real it's raw it's 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 so everybody out there it's gonna be okay the um and i know it sounds like a fucking like Groundhog Day, you say that all the time, but I mean, it's the fucking truth. And you know, and I also think you got to be your back on that wall. No, but, no, hold on now. This is you talk about the, the, the political wall, or I thought they weren't doing that anymore. What happened? <laughs> we needed that. We needed that uh, uh, comedic. Uh, what's it comedic called? relief? Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, man. We got serious for like the last twenty minutes. Like I, there was some spots. But I, 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 I can promise you that we're gonna get. This is going to be the highest rated one, and people are going to reach out to say, 
Fuck, you're right, they, Joe. There were some spots I could have threw some dick jokes in there, but I you should have, bro. Was, no, it wasn't the time. It wasn't the time. Why? Oh, in my head, I said it. But, <laughs> uh, but it's gonna be all right, man. It is. It is. Like it's gonna be all right, and uh, it's been a hell, hell of a ride, man. Like I wouldn't change a single fucking thing of it at all. It's been a hell of a ride. Yeah. The um. It's only gonna get better. Kind of uh, kind of shifting directions before we wrap this up. So. Um, I know we talked about guests like the first week and stuff like that. So, so me church said yes. Okay. So did, you, did he give you did he give you a date? No, he asked, is it in person or Zoom? It's like, nah, bro, it's we're in not person. Doing Zoom, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. We're not no this Zoom is, boom room. This isn't twenty twenty one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. No, we're gonna. Yeah. And maybe we'll have like bottles of liquor. Like we make sure we get them like real, real loose. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Like, I've never done Coke, but I feel like that's a good time, too. So. Oh, whoa. Coca-Cola, which I was talking about right here. It said you got an interview with them, so that's we'll talk about that next week or whatever. But uh, next guest, um, did you reach out to the guy from Nomad? Bro, I told Vic to ask him, but I will reach out to him directly. Okay. Actually, how about next week? Do you want to go to Nomad and talk to him? Yeah, I haven't seen fucking... Yeah, we haven't seen... Like, haven't kid, seen bro. Like, uh, Ginger Blogger, uh, Sean was with them at their... Um, Mardi Gras parade on Sunday, uh-huh. and you know, Cam was just talking about us. You know, you know Cam loves yeah. this dog. Like, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of good times, a lot of good times. So, uh, yeah. uh, so that'll be exciting. I definitely like to get. Now we're gonna we're gonna have Nomads uh, as the Val's Barbecue distribution for people to be able to buy oh, too. Nice. Grizzly Grade. We're gonna have their um, um, cutting boards. Um, Mule Skinner. They're gonna have uh, their burger presses. Um, so. A lot of good shit. Yeah, like I'll say this: if you want us to put your stuff in our distribution center, it got to be some good swag. It's some really good shit. So reach out to us. We're not going to say no, but it got to be good. Yeah. Like, got to be good. Yeah. Like, real talk. Like, we're, we're, we're open. Like, we got, we got, we're going for top 50. Are you, are you doing uh, wall shelving? Yeah, yeah. We got our merch. And also, Russell, um, bro, in those 44 boxes are perfectly cut wood for your backyard smoker. And you talked about that. No, literally, it's right there. Yeah. For $35.99, you can have. Pitmaster wood that's cut perfectly for your house. Pitmaster bottle. Pit pit. What'd you call it? Pitmaster bottle. <laughs> oh my god, that's. Um, we're gonna have to keep that. Like yeah. that. That is uh, no middle of the mall shit. What is what? Is, Cole, I literally just took time out of my conversation with CJ. To read a text message that says no middle of the mall shit. What yeah, the but hell? You're, do, you're a producer. What does that mean? What does that mean? Your products that you're selling. It's not no, oh, none no, of that. No, oh, no, that middle, middle of the, of the mall. mall type shit. No. <laughs> oh, no. Like, no, literally. Yeah, I don't, want, nobody, I don't want. Hey, I, 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 I can get them shoes clean for you. Play. I can get them oh, shoes clean. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Now, now it makes, now it makes sense. sense. So, yeah, okay, so that's no, actually yeah, funny as fuck. So, so use that. No, 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 no middle. No, middle no, I don't want no middle of the mall shit. Yeah, yeah. You got to be an anchor store. Yeah, yeah. I need some pack sun. You know, I need some nice shoes and shit. Hollister. What are you doing after this? I'm going to find some food that doesn't have meat in it for us to eat. At the hand roll place, it's actually really good up in Frisco. So. Ooh, you got to send it to me. Yeah. If, uh, I don't know what it was called. I got the receipt. Much so it was a hand follow? It was good. It was, it, was, it was really good. We walked in and. They judge you? No, no, not oh. at all. I'm wearing a collar shirt today, but I don't think Matt was prepared to spend $40 on lunch. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, look, it's hand rolls, dude. So. Um, but no, it was, it was really good. Um, I'm about to have a beer with Joey here in a minute, actually. So if you got 20 minutes, so I don't. I like no, that's that. fine. I just I, I got, no. I it, got was, go, got it was go. it was 100 a pity invite. So oh, perfect. Um, but that about wraps it so up. So let me tell oh, me, let me get this let me let me tell me let me get this right. So I actually have a beer while we do this. You say no, but you're gonna go have beer with well, Joey. He, he just text me. Well, he doesn't get out of the house anymore, so I get it. Yeah, no, I, no we got him. So because he doesn't even read, he doesn't even listen to this goddamn podcast, does he? No, no. So shout out to Joey. It's beneath him. He said. Whoa. I made all that up, but it sounds like some shit he'd say. So that about wraps it up this week, man. This is CJ. This is Joe. Peace. Peace.